Last weekend, the Glen Valley Tramway Trust had an amazing achievement. It was a proud moment for all involved, and now the one step closer to achieving the dreams. The months leading up to laying track here on this site for the first time in 100 years was somewhat daunting for the volunteers who have had a past 15 years of involvement. To see this rapid progression in the past 12 months is phenomenal. And as we continue on up the line, it's a real starting point for this true narrow gauge gem. For us to achieve our goal of restoring track to the site, there was an awful lot of preparation involved by a number of people. This included taking the track bed down to adjust the levels in relation to the platform edging wall and to then start to lay the track in its approximate position of where it originally was. The track itself is set panels and each panel can be removed independently. So when it's time for us to remove each panel and store it safely, we'll then be able to restore the platform edging wall to its former glory and then at a later date, return the track, re-ballast it to its final finished position. We are actually on a bit of a deadline because we need a few more track panels built to give us a full display line for an event that we'll be holding within the next few months. This will be our first rolling stock movements on the tramway for the first time in 88 years. I need you to line up for me. Okay, spot on. The track panels themselves are quite a simple construction and it didn't really take long for the two to be completed on the day. They all went together nice and smoothly and we've got plenty more to uh, be getting on with. The track pins that we're using to hold the railway lines down to the sleepers came from the Corris Railway, uh, but the railway lines themselves actually came from the Wellspool and Lamb Fair and even though it's all second hand, we are hugely grateful to both railways for the support in this project. For us, rebuilding the tramway is quite special because we're adding to the amazing places that are already here within the local area, from Chirk Castle to the Canal Aqueduct. We are essentially adding the last remaining missing piece to the Chirk community. It will not only provide a service to the local community, but it will also bring people, tourists, into the area and offer something amazing to experience. To be involved in a project as special as this, it's a true one-off. This really isn't going to happen again. And we're, we're all a team of volunteers that have a common interest and a common goal that want to see that this tramway up and running again. There's a number of years ahead of us, but we're in this for the long run and we want to see this progress happen at a pace that we can manage. And this is the beginning of something very special and we can't wait to see what the future holds. Mm -hmm.